In this video, we'll be completing our drop-down menu example. Now I'm going to add a little white border to the right side of each of these list items. So I'll use the border right property to do that. And I'll set this border to be a one pixel width border. And it will be solid and white. So let's take a look at this. And you can see the border here and here. And I also want to add a white border to the top of each of these submenus. So I can use a border top property. And I'll also set that to a width of one pixel and specify solid and white. And here you can see the top borders. And now you'll notice that this content section right here is positioned on the right side of these menus and I want it to be below the menus. So I'm going to add a style to the content section. And this content section right now is just this header tag. So I'm going to add a class to this. And I'll name this class content. And then I'll go up to my style section and add a class for this. And here I'm going to use the clear property and I'll set the value to both. And this will let the content section move below the menu section. So we can look at that. And now we have the content section that's actually below all of these submenus and we actually want this content section to be underneath these submenus because normally these submenus are not displayed until somebody hovers their mouse over the photos menu and the way that we can accomplish this is by taking this unordered list which represents our submenus by taking this out of the normal flow and we can do this by changing the positioning property of this unordered list here to absolute Whenever you use absolute positioning, the absolute position will be relative to the nearest ancestor element that has its position property set to either relative, absolute, or fixed. So we are going to change the position property of this list item right here to be relative so that we can then apply a position property of absolute to this unordered list here which are these three menu items. So we'll come up here and apply our position property right here. And we'll set this to relative. And then we'll add a selector here that will apply only to the unordered list that contains the submenu items. So we can do that by specifying the list items that contain unordered list. And we'll use the position property and set that to absolute. And since we're using absolute positioning, we will also specify the top property and set that to 30 pixels. And that will position this unordered list 30 pixels from the top of the list item that contains it, which in our case is the list item that contains photos here. And then we'll also add a left property and set that to zero so that the left side of this absolutely positioned unordered list will line up with the left side of the list item that contains photos. And so now let's take a look at this. The first thing that we can see is that these submenus are now on top of this heading section that was down in the content area. And you'll also notice that this whole unordered list now is positioned 30 pixels from the top of this main menu section. Since I moved this unordered list here for the submenus down by 30 pixels, I'm now going to increase the height of all of the list items to be 30 pixels 
to fill in this gap here. So I'll come up here and apply the style right here. And I'm going to set the height property to 30 pixels. And now all of my list items have the same height. And now I also want all of this text to be centered vertically within each of these list items. So I can come up here and add a line height property. And I'll also set this to 30 pixels. And now all of my text is centered vertically. And now I have the basic structure of the menus complete, so now I need to add some functionality. So I'll come up here and I'll add a style that will be applied to list items when the mouse is hovering over them. And I'll apply a background color to this. and I'll set the color to maroon. And now when we look at what we have, you can see as the mouse hovers over any one of these list items, the background color will be changed to the maroon color. The next thing that we want to do is to hide this entire unordered list here that contains our submenus. So we can do that right here by adding the visibility property. And we'll set this to a value of hidden. And now when we look at what we have below, you can no longer see the submenus. To allow the submenus to be displayed when a user hovers his mouse over the photos list item, we need to add another CSS style and this one will use a selector that is very similar to the one that was used when we set the visibility to hidden. Except here, instead of using just list item, we'll use list item colon hover. And so this style will be applied to the unordered list here when a user hovers over the list item. And so we're going to use the visibility property again and set this to visible. And now let's look at what we have. Now when the user hovers over the photos list item, the submenus are all displayed. So this is our completed drop-down menu example. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.